my channel. This is Laura. I'm coming to you with another Dollar Tree haul. I hit the mega jackpot at the Dollar Tree this week. The Halloween and fall stuff are out in full force, guys. I just about went crazy at the store this time. I will tell you though that I was in the store shopping and I went around to go look at other items. People are scooping this stuff up. So if you see something you like, you better run out and get it because it's not going to be there long. Before we get into this haul, if you are new here, welcome. I really would appreciate it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on that notification bell, and you will not miss out on a new episode. And if you're enjoying the content, don't forget, thumbs up really helps the channel a whole bunch. Now, if you are a regular here, thank you for coming back and spending time with me. I appreciate you. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to jump in with the Halloween stuff first. This stuff is just crazy awesome this time. I didn't even know what to pick up. There was so much stuff. I'm going to start with the Crafter Square tool. Now, I'm not sure if this is new. They do have tool there all the time, but this is a Crafter Square glow in the dark, and it is six inches by three yards. So I did pick up two of these. Does it glow in the dark? I don't know, but I will check it out before this video goes up, and I will let y'all know. So be on the lookout for the glow in the dark tool. This next item is not new to the Dollar Tree, but they did add a little creative touch to it. These little plastic wreath bows, and like I said, they are not new, but they did add a little skull here in the middle. Very creative. These are great for exterior wreaths. If you put a wreath out in your front door, these really hold up really well. I have purchased these before, and I love them. They really hold up to the weather. This next item, I opened it because I couldn't tell exactly how it was. These are by Crafter Square and they're called Berry Picks. You get five pieces. The packaging looks like that and they come in here. You get five pieces. You get three of the black and two of the silver. Look at that, guys. I think that's gonna make a fabulous centerpiece for Halloween if you decorate for Halloween. Let us know in the comments if you like to decorate for Halloween. I do, I like to put up small touches here and there, but I absolutely love to decorate for Halloween. So let us know, do you decorate for Halloween? Let us know in the comments. Okay, now these next, this next item is new. It is a, another Crafter Square and they are calling them Dahlia Clips. Look at that, guys, how beautiful these are. And just for size reference, there's my hand. They are pretty large. Now the back, you can see the clip right there. You can clip it onto your wreath or your wall decor, whatever you want. I mean, be creative with them. You can add in the middle a little skull, a spider, whatever. I think these are super nice. They do have little touches of, of silver, which was a great touch. Very nice. Now they did have other colors. They had some purple and some red, but I like to just go with the silver and black for Halloween and uh, maybe a little purple, but I thought these were a great find. Okay, the next item, I have seen these. These are just, they're just calling them branches. And look at that. They do have a lot of glitter, guys, so just be aware of that before you pop open your bags on your sofa or anything. What I do is I take them out, take them into the garage, I spray them with some hairspray. It really helps from that glitter coming off these things. So spray them with a little bit of hairspray. They have it there at the Dollar Tree. These are very nice for vase fillers or for wreaths, whatever you like. Okay, the, the next item, these are roses. Now some of these, as you can see, have little spiders on them. I didn't check mine properly I think I'm missing two roses here there's two little stems with no flowers so make sure that you get your stems and they have their flowers I was in a hurry that day and just did not check them here I have another one also I need to be more careful these roses have the eyeballs in the middle and little spiders I thought that was pretty cute and these have nothing on them they just have black glitter on them. so pretty nice for vase fillers look at that and then the last one which was absolutely my favorite was this pick right here now it did have the red rose I do have to open them up because they are kind of smushed a little a black carnation 
and then you have the black skull back here. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty nice. I think just to give it a little bit more of a creepy effect, you may want to add a little spider. I think that would be kind of fun. Okay, and then I did find some lights, a mini steady burning or flashing. They are five feet and this is what they look like. They are black and that's what they look like. I always pick up the little lights. It is a purple and violet with black. That's what it reads and it does says if one bulb burns off, the rest will continue to light. So that is a good little product for 20 lights for a dollar. You can't really go wrong with that and that probably would be enough for a wreath, for a small wreath. Okay and then the next thing I found that were pretty cute. I have not seen these before. Uh, but I have heard that they are not new. These are another Crafter Square, the witch's hats. I thought these were pretty nice. You get three pieces, great vase fillers, great addition to a wreath. These are pretty nice and I love that they gave you a variety of green, purple, and orange colors. Very nice. I thought these were pretty nice. Now, these are Crafter Square. I'm assuming that you paint these yourself or leave them as they are. I would leave them as they are. Look at that, a little wooden skeleton, dangly skeleton, look at that. I am gonna open it so that we can see it. I was excited to find these. These are gonna be pretty fun to paint. Good craft material for kids. Okay, oh wow, he's kinda long, kinda nice. We're gonna have to give this guy a name. List down below what we should name this guy. Look at that, guys. How nice. It's about two feet long. I think he's pretty cool. Look at his feet. So let's give him a name. Leave me a comment down below with what you think we should call this guy. And like I said, you can paint him, but I like the way they have the dark uh, edges. I would just leave this as it is. Okay, the next item that I found in the same aisle the same type of decor. This one says Happy Halloween with the jack-o'-lantern down here. Some bats up here, pretty nice. Again, you can paint this yourself, but I like that it has kind of like the raw edges with the dark stain on it. Maybe I would paint this, maybe not, I don't know. I kind of like it the way it is. The next one is also a crafter square. Look at this, guys. A big old spider. How nice is that? These are pretty big. I took out my big large ruler. Let's measure it. It is 11 and a half inches. That is a very nice size uh, wall decor, guys. I, I really think these, these are worth the dollar. And if you wanna paint them again with the kids, I think they would have a blast with these. Okay, and the last item for Halloween, it's a wall decor, the same thing, a wood cutout. And I think this one is my favorite. Look at this, guys. Isn't he adorable? And again, let's see how tall he is. 11 and a half inches, very nice size. I mean, I can see this being painted or left as is. I think it's very, very nice. They are really going all out with all this decor. I mean, for a dollar, I, I mean, I cannot even believe this stuff is a dollar. If you go to Hobby Lobby for something like this or Joann's or Michael's, you're gonna pay two to three, maybe even four dollars for something like this. So for a dollar, yes ma'am, all day long. So don't forget, let's get a name for this little guy. Okay, I'm gonna move ahead to the fall items. They did have a really good variety of fall items. I mean, but it was going so fast, I, I couldn't even believe people were just scooping this stuff up. I don't remember who I saw hauling this, but I know a lot of women are hauling them. Look at these, I got the buckets. Always be thankful. I thought these were pretty nice. They are five and a half inches tall. I thought that was pretty nice. It's just a little tin, tin bucket. You can make a, a centerpiece with this. You can just add, I mean, add whatever, put candies in there for, for the fall. So many things with this. Uh, add some pumpkins in here, just fillers. I think this, these are so pretty and the size is great. So I did pick up two of these. And then also they did have lights, uh, which I was happy about, LED lights. You get 10 indoor use only and they are white LEDs. You get three feet. These are the little maple leaves. I thought these were really, really cute. 
and I love the color. It's not too, too bright. Let me see if I can take this out of here so you can see it better. And it does take two AA batteries. Look at that, guys. I think these are just too cute. Look at that. Very, very nice. I probably should have picked up two of these because I could see myself using these on the mantle with some fall decor. I, I think these are going to be really cute. Okay, now the ribbon. They had some very pretty ribbon. And these are the ones that I picked out. Look at those designs, guys. Aren't they pretty? I don't think this middle one is new, but the chevron and the brown check one I think is new. This uh, chevron is really, really pretty. The colors are spot on for fall. I thought that was pretty nice. You do get uh, nine feet and it is two and a half inches wide. And then the maple leaves, you can't be without those. How pretty is that? The colors are just spot on that green and these autumn colors. And then this brown and gold check. I thought that was really pretty. I think this one is my favorite. And they did have others, but these were the ones that I chose to pick. In that area where they had all the new fall and Halloween stuff, they did have a bunch of stickers. These were the ones that I picked up by Crafter Square. You get 15 pieces and these are for Halloween. Look at that, guys. How cute. This one I love. Halloween, trick or treat. I put a spell on you, boo. But first, coffee. No kidding. Look at that. How cute. They come up with the best stickers. I, 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 I can't, I go crazy with the stickers. I'm surprised I just contained myself to one pack this time. I couldn't even believe that myself. Okay, guys, we're coming to the end of this haul. Thank you for sticking around. If you stay this long, okay, I got a door hanger. I love these door hangers. I love anything that makes noise on the front door. I don't know what it is. I just love that security. They did have different color bells, but I just chose to get this one. It's a really nice, like a almost a purpley color and gold bells and the bow. Now you can change the bow if you don't like it. Add some of the other ribbon that you have to match the rest of your decor. I thought these were pretty cute. Okay, now a new item that I was very excited about. It is full corn decoration. You get two pieces. They are five inches. Look at these guys. Aren't these going to make great centerpieces for your Thanksgiving table? I think these are great. And you know what? They have some weight on them, so they're very well made. One thing that I did notice is that there's no beads at the bottom of the bag. So they, they stuck onto the corn really nicely. So that just tells me it's pretty well made. They did have another color, but I really wasn't fond of it. So I just picked up this one that has the decorative corn. It has like the black and amber colors. Really, really nice. I was really impressed with these. And these were going fast. They had a big box and there was just a few left. Crafter Square is a metal sunflower. Look at how pretty these are and it does have the metal uh, stake there and look at the size of that for reference there's my hand it is so cute and the back of it has a little spring so that the little sunflower dances around how cute is that for a dollar a dollar now i did have another one of these it must have fallen out in my car, so I'm going to have to go out and look for it. But I thought these were amazing. These are so pretty. And the colors, they're not too vibrant. They're really, they're bright, but they're more matte. They're really, really pretty. So how about that for a dollar? Okay, and the last item for this haul is uh, wall decor. Now, look at this, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all on frame, but look at how large that is. How pretty. With the different color pumpkins, look at that one. White, orange, that teal green, and then the orange again. Now, if you wanted to paint over this and put your own design on it, you could. A great size for uh, the front door. I mean, this is really, really pretty. Or besides the mantle with the basket of some throws, I think that would be really pretty. I mean, and the back is just that... Uh, you know the little particle board no biggie 
but at least this is at least two and a half feet in length. Pretty nice d design for one dollar. Go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels and try to get this for a dollar. You're never going to find it. Okay, guys, that was the last item. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Don't forget, big thumbs up. That really helps the channel. Leave comments down below. Go follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And I will see you soon for another Dollar Tree haul. And don't forget to check out my cooking videos. I will link a few for you up here. I will see you soon. Talk to y'all later. Bye.